and today I'm going to be showing you a creative form of gratitude journaling. Gratitude journaling is something that you may have encountered elsewhere in other formats, such as a month-long challenge for listing everything that you're grateful for or thankful for throughout a 30-day period. And this is something that people often do to improve their happiness, to appreciate the things and people around them, and to boost life satisfaction. And this is something that I haven't really gotten into myself, although I appreciate the idea of it. And I think the reason is that often the instructions are just to list everything that you're grateful for on a page. And you just have a list of words. And that doesn't really resonate with me as something that I'll want to return to or get much out of looking at later on. So the way that I've approached it in this video is through art journaling. Together, we're going to be creating an artistic form of a gratitude list that is in some kind of paper format. I suggest doing this in a journal if you keep a journal to follow the art journaling method. But if you don't have an actual journal, you can just do this on a piece of paper or a pad or whatever you have with you. And through journaling what we're grateful for in an artistic way, we'll have something that is self-expressive and beautiful that we can look back on in days, months, years to come and see how we've envisioned all of those things in our lives that really contribute to who we are and the positive experiences that we are having. I will be exhibiting two examples of gratitude lists, but this is something that you can do in whatever way really inspires you and speaks to you and however you like to see the things in your life flourishing on the paper in front of you. The supplies for this project are minimal or the sky is the limit. It's really up to your technique and your preference and whatever the vision is of what you want to have on the paper. You can use pens, pencils, crayons, things that you cut out and stick on the page, paint, pastels, pretty much anything that you can fit into the pages of a journal. The techniques that I will be showing you have a few different supplies involved but you don't need to follow along unless you choose to, and you can also go off track and do your own thing. And they don't take a huge amount of time either. Because gratitude journaling is encouraged to be done often at the end of the day or in the morning just for a few minutes, these are things that you should be able to kind of whip out unless you want to turn it into a bigger, more long-term art project. So let's move over to the table and tap into a headspace of appreciation and thankfulness and have a moment to reflect on the people, things, and spaces in our lives that really make us happy and that make us enjoy the idea of getting up in the morning and going out and doing good things in the world. The method that we'll be using for gratitude journaling today is to begin with categories. These are categories of things that you could be grateful for, such as the body, nature, family, loved ones, work, school, hobbies, community, home, or skills and talents. In my examples, I will be focusing on the first two, the body and nature, but you could choose any of these categories and build your art piece around them and draw or create whatever imagery and designs you think best reflect how you feel about that category. The supplies that I'm using today include my art journal. This is a paper blanks journal. It's lined, has nice thick paper, so it's really good for sticking things onto it and layering different media. Scissors, a glue stick, some colored pens. These are Papermate. They have a semi-thick tip and bright colors. Tip and bright colors. And my main form of color today are my Prisma colored pencils. This is a set that I got as a Christmas gift, and I'm very thankful for it. The first category that I'm going to show you an example of is the body. Things that I'm grateful for about the body and things that I appreciate about my physicality and my strength and my movement. I have a pre-existing material for this. Last night, I traced my hand, and I did this as a test on a piece of scrap paper with other things written on the back but I really liked how it came out and I thought that having something in the background that might show through the paper would actually be really cool. And I always prefer to reuse materials. So I'm going to start by cutting this out. I'm not concerned about my cutting being perfect because I like the jaggedy edges and the difference. So 
So I'm just checking to make sure that the background matches up with the size of the hand and that everything shows up the way I want it to. Quickly I'll measure it against the page and see that there is a little bit of overhang. So I'll trim it down. That looks good to me. So I'll move on to my next step of coloring in the page that's going to be glued down on. This will give a cool background to contrast the hand and the page itself and to add a little bit more detail and depth. I'm doing this in a really rough and loose way because I find it relaxing and a little bit freeing to just scribble on the paper and not worry about making a perfect gradient or making everything right. But just getting some color down on the page and knowing that there's a crease in this book and I can't color perfectly around the crease in any reasonable amount of time. So it doesn't really matter if everything looks properly aligned and just kind of going with the flow. I'm also not concerned about covering the middle because I know that the hand is going to cover it up. So I'm just checking to make sure that the background matches up with the size of the hand and that everything shows up the way I want it to behind the hand. So now I'm going to start the gratitude part of this. I'm gonna bring in my pens and start layering on the hand with the things that I'm grateful for and I'm just gonna go up and down the fingers fill up the palm just whatever kind of looks cool and feels right if you're making a gratitude list about your body I would recommend thinking of not only things that you know right off the bat that you really appreciate about yourself but also those things that you don't think about very often and things that need a little bit more appreciation I wrote down my height because sometimes I struggle with being a shorter person in the world. But if I write it down and think about something that I benefit from by being a short person, that is a really important and helpful act of self-love and self-care. You can also experiment with what you mean by the body when you think of your body. Does it mean just your physical attributes or can it mean the way that you look in certain kinds of clothes? or? the way that your body moves in certain ways, or the way that you interact with others physically. When you think about the body, try thinking about health and flexibility and ways that you move through your day and how your body helps you in different ways. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see regular videos on art, mindfulness, self-care, and well-being. The second example that I'm going to show you is grateful for my environment. This is one that I'm not going to use any extra supplies other than pen and pencil. If you choose to do gratitude journaling or art journaling in general before bed, doing some meditative drawing like this, where you're just kind of feeling out the shapes and the lines, not using a photo reference, but just thinking about how it feels to draw something like a tree and what kind of pleasure and peace you can get out of that motion can be a really good way of cooling down from your day and stepping away from your thinking brain and getting into your feeling brain, your relaxing brain. As you're layering in your collage or drawing or whatever art form you're using for your gratitude journaling, I'd recommend thinking about what you're grateful for while you're drawing. 
in another kind of meditative way. So as you're letting your creative mind take over, think about what is there about the environments that you live in that you're grateful for? What interactions did you have with nature today? Maybe nature is something that you wish you'd spend more time interacting with. And as you're drawing and writing out your gratitudes, you can think about ways that you could actually extend your nature engagement in the next day and in the next week. Now I'm going to take my green pen and start to layer in some of my gratitudes. Thank you so much for joining me in this art journaling project today. Be sure to hit the bell next to the subscribe button on the channel homepage in order to get notifications for new videos every week. I hope that you found gratitude journaling a relaxing and fulfilling exercise. If you followed along or make any creations based off of this video later on, please share them with me on social media where the links are down below. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope that you have many more things to be grateful for in the week to come.